Hi everyone, it's Nicole here from Baby to Sleep. So we're on part 17, night 15, um, and she slept from, what did she do? 6.40 till 10 past five with no wake-ups, which is absolutely brilliant. So we're back on track pretty much now. Can't say I love a 10 past five wake-up, but it was a solid block of sleep that I got right through from when I went to bed. And she didn't wake up being disturbed by me going to bed, which is amazing, but, I don't really want to talk too much about that today. Um, we had a bit of upset going to bed, um, but we managed to calm that down and everything like that. So that was fine. What I actually want to talk to everybody about, I want to actually ask some questions um, because this is something that I don't think is possibly talked about enough if it's a real thing. So I want to know if it's a thing um, and if it is a thing, why don't we talk about it? Why don't we let people know? And do you have any tips? Um, so... Um, as you can probably see, my face is an absolute mess and I think it's down to stopping breastfeeding. I say I think, I don't know. There's not huge amounts of information out there on the internet when you Google it. You get things about stopping breastfeeding babies, but then obviously hormones are pretty rampant. So it's quite normal to maybe get spots and things like that at that point because your hormones are all over. But we're nearly two years in and it's been quite a slow weaning process. So... I'm a bit surprised at how bad things are. So is actually your skin being horrendous um, a normal thing that happens uh, when you stop breastfeeding? Um, I did consider putting makeup on, but then I thought, well, actually, because obviously I've, if you see here, I've got a really rather red nose. And I thought, well, actually, that's not real because at the end of the day, this is this is what's happened. I've, I'm trying to document a real journey here um, so other parents can sort of feel what it actually is and know what to expect. Um, so actually... Is it normal to end up with big frigging red noses and stuff like that because spots galore decide to pop up with really, you know, lovely, wobbly, bobbly heads and things? <laughs> I feel like an absolute mess. Um, it's not fun. So, yes, I will be wearing makeup from tomorrow. Um, but this is just horrible. Um, so, yeah, is that a normal thing? The other thing is does it completely mess with your period stopping breastfeeding they should actually do um, a section so when you actually upload a youtube video they actually put a thing on saying is this for kids they should put is this for men um and then i could put no because <laughs> this is so not for men um but <laughs> but yeah periods seriously what is going on with them um this has been three weeks now i've been on for like three weeks every time i think i'm stopping it really goes full pelt again so what's actually going on here again is this something to do with stopping breastfeeding um there isn't much information on stopping breastfeeding and hormones and things at this sort of age toddler ages it's all very much in the the younger days when the hormones are absolutely crazy so if you've done this yourself if you've been through this is this normal and if so, what tips have you got for me? Because it's doing my head in. Um, so <laughs> the other thing is, poor Sophia, bless her, she's really not well. She hasn't even gone to drama and dancing today. And she loves going to her drama classes and her dance classes. Um, she's really not well at all. She came in just after seven o'clock this morning, which again is really unheard of for her. Um, she sort of walked into my room looking really pretty tired. And then she crashed asleep on my bed while the television was on. So she's not well at all, poor little mite. Um, so yeah, so we're having a, a rest day today and she's in a PJs and Alicia is currently at dancing. So I'm going to be going to pick her up in a minute. Um, but I just thought I'd pop on, do a quick video. because I really want to ask those questions. Um, so the night's sleep for Alicia, absolutely grand. It was in the cot. Nap yesterday was pretty appalling. Hence why we had a bit of a battle getting her to go to sleep. But then when she did go to sleep, she did a 10 and a half hour stretch. So... That's all good. I'm happy with that. We are so back on track. It's all good. Um, hopefully tonight will be even better. That's the plan. Um, but yeah, I want to know more about this breastfeeding stuff, the, the stopping breastfeeding. So give me some information, help me out. Um, and at the end of the day, I can then share this with other people because if it's something that isn't talked about very often, why? Why aren't we prepared for it? If this is a, if this is a normal thing, why aren't we prepared for it and why is there not enough information out there? So give me your information and I'll update everybody with what it actually possibly is and any tips and stuff like that as well. Right, I'll let you know how tomorrow goes. Well, tonight goes tomorrow. Right, I'll see you later. Oh, if you've not been following, by the way, 
and you want to know what's been going on just hit back at the beginning of the playlist and you can just watch from the beginning and um, also as well there are loads and loads and loads of videos if you've got little ones um that are going through any sort of change if you look through the youtube channel you'll see loads and loads and loads of helpful videos on naps nap transitions um feeding to sleep like um should you give up breastfeeding to get better sleep which the answer is no by the way um but it goes into a bit more detail. It goes that I've got four months sleep regressions. Is it actually a thing? Um, there's loads and loads and loads of information. So have a flick through the channel. And there's loads of bits for help right through from birth through to sort of toddlers and things like that as well in young children. Um, so loads of helpful information. If you want help though getting your little one to sleep, drop me an email, Nicole at babytosleep.co.uk or head to the website babytosleep.co.uk um, and there's loads of support there, one-to-one -one and online support as well. Um, and we can help you out. Right, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.